Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at dividers in Swift UI so let's get straight into it. So a divider is a line separator between content and its view that allows you to separate and break up content. So dividers can have modifiers applied onto them and can also behave differently depending on the view that they live in. So let's add a VStack onto the screen and we'll add a different bunch of dividers so we can see the differences that happen between them. So what I'm just going to do is remove the vstack and then the text and instead just type vstack and then we'll create a new vstack in here which we'll add a divider to so let's do that now and now if i just zoom in you should see our divider on the screen so notice how we have our text here and then we also have this line below our text so this divider we specify that we want it to show after our text so this is almost like our break here and just so you can see this a bit more, because we've got a VStack which is filling up the whole width of the screen, we're going to add some padding onto the group parent VStack. So let's do that now. And you can see that a bit more clearly now. Also as well, to make it a bit more clearer, we'll give this VStack specifically a background color so it stands out more as well. And it's a bit difficult to see at the bottom here. So let's give it a bit of padding. Cool. So now we can see our divider and the container for this VStack here. So let's add in a group, which is another SwiftUI view that allows you to create a container for content that is related to one another. So just below this VStack, we'll type that out. So we'll just type out group. So We've got our group here and we've got our VStack on the screen. And notice how the group is similar to the VStack in terms of how it lays out its content vertically. But the only difference is, is that with a group, it's like the name implies, a group of elements. It's not like it's a whole container view, which is stacking elements after one another. So you apply, when you apply a background color onto a VStack, notice how the whole VStack gets a color. But when you apply a background color onto a group, instead, each individual view within the group gets its own background color applied onto it which is why if i just zoom in you'll notice that our text has this green background color and we've now changed the color of our divider to this mint color as well but let's use a different view another type of stack called a hate stack and also let's see what happens when we add a divider in so i'm just going to do this now and as you can see, this is a bit different to both of the examples that we had before because with a stack, it doesn't actually lay out content vertically. It actually lays out content horizontally instead. So notice how our stack this time, the divider is on the right hand side of our text. And this is due to the order that we have declared it in. Also as well, it's filling up the whole screen. Why is it doing this? Well, the height of our divider is ambiguous. So similar to how on a previous example, it fills the width of its container. This time, our divider within our stack is going to fill up the remaining space, but this time for the height of the container. So if we wanted to, we could actually explicitly specify a height and a width on the dividers to control them. So let's do this now. So what we're going to do is on our first divider, we're going to give it a width of 100. And on our last divider, we're going to give it a height of 50. So we'll do that. And as you can see now, it's actually shrunk. So if I just zoom in a bit so we can see this a bit better, our first example now, the frame, the frame width of our divider is 100. And notice how it lays out the divider in the center with a fixed width of 100. And for our H that it lays out the divider with a frame of 50. And this time it doesn't fill up all the remaining space. It just fills up the space that it needs to because we've defined the size of 50. We can also apply background colors onto them as well like we did before. So if we wanted to directly, we could actually apply a background color onto the actual divider. So let's give this divider a color of red. And now as you can see, our divider has like a red tint to it. So one last thing I wanna show you is how you can actually use this to actually separate content. So what we're going to do is actually add an SF symbol to the right hand side of this divider. And all we need to do after here at the end of our H stack is just create an SF symbol. So let's do that. Cool, and as you can see, we've now got our SF symbol on the end of our divider, so we can break up content like so. So if you ever have a design that looks like this, you can easily recreate it by using dividers. And if you wanna learn more about SF symbols, I have a video called SF Symbols in SwiftUI. 
All right, cool. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, as well as hitting the notification bell to receive updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.